Okay, so this is the question we have discussed, the second one. The next one you see. An excess of liquid mercury is added to an acidified solution of this molar Fe3+. It is found that 5% of Fe3 plus remains at equilibrium at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate E0 for this, assuming that the only reaction that occurs is this. Okay, the cell reaction is given and E0 of Fe3 plus 2, Fe2 plus is given. Okay. So you have to use Nernst equation here, right? This value, it should be E naught. It is uh, just a, a misprint. This should be E naught, okay? So now you see this mercury is getting oxidized and Fe is getting reduced, right? So cathode is what? Cathode is Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus reduction and anode is Hg2 Hg2 plus. Okay. So E naught of this cell is what? E naught of cathode minus E naught of anode. Right? Here you see this E naught of anode, both are reduction potential and that is what we need to find out reduction potential. Means this E naught is the answer we have. Okay? Now when you apply Nernst equation into this, so E cell is equals to this thing, right? E naught cell is nothing but this. So E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by two, right? Because the n value is two log of Hg2 plus Hg2 2 plus into into we have Fe2 plus square divided by the ion we have Fe3 plus square. This is what the equation we have. It says what? 5% of Fe3 plus remains at equilibrium. Means when this reaction takes place and equilibrium achieves, there we have 5% of Fe3 plus present in the solution. So obviously the state of equilibrium, E cell is zero, is equals to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by two. We'll substitute the value of this. Log the concentration of Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus. So it is given 1%. So you see this uh, thing we'll use over here. We have Fe3 plus the reaction is this. 
concentration we can find out with this value five percent thing is there okay so see this the reaction is Two Hg plus two Fe three plus gives Hg two two plus plus two Fe three plus. This is one into ten to the power minus three present initially. It is zero and zero. When five percent left, me ninety five percent react, right? So this is the Fe three plus concentration which is left here. That will be. That will be 0.95 reacts one minus, or we can write simply 10 to the power minus three into 0.05 alpha is this right? C minus C alpha we can write, so I can write down here. Suppose if I write down the general term, probably that will be easy for you to understand. If it is C initially and C value is given, so it is C minus C alpha. This will be C alpha. This will be two C alpha. What is C alpha? C is ten to the power minus three into one minus alpha. Alpha is five percent. So it is one minus zero point zero five. C is ten to the power minus three. Alpha is zero point zero five two into ten to the power minus three. Alpha is zero point zero five. So this is zero point nine five into ten to the power minus three. Right? This will be zero point zero five into ten to the power minus three. This will be zero point one into ten to the power minus three. Okay. Now I will find out this concentration we have already. We'll substitute this and we'll get the answer. Okay. One more thing you see here. One, uh, one thing we must write. This is one thing I'm missing here. Uh, just one small correction here. You see, this is this should be two C alpha, no? Because two we have here, two C alpha. So this will be what? This will be two alpha. Two alpha is point one. So this is this is the concentration we have. Now, when we substitute all these these value here, and we'll find out E not cell, right? So E not cell here is we can also write this down as E not cell is equals to it is E not of cathode minus E not of anode and that would be equals to when you solve this we'll get some value here so E not of anode we need to find out which is Hg two Hg two plus right reduction potential. So E naught of anode is equals to the value we get is zero point seven nine two six. This is the answer we get in this question. Okay. So what we are doing here, we are just using Nernst equation. Equilibrium condition will apply here, 
and then to find out the concentration of the species involved we use the concept of equilibrium right ions are in equilibrium so how it dissociates how concentration of ion changes we will find out that and we will substitute it in this we we'll get the expression okay Okay, now you see the next question. The standard reduction potential of copper is given 0.34, right? Standard reduction potential of copper is given 0.34. Find the reduction potential at pH 14 for the ab above, for the above couple, KSP is given. Right, we need to find out the reduction potential of Cu2 plus to Cu. Ku, Ksp is given. So Ksp is given for CuOH hold twice. So CuOH hold twice dissociates as Cu2 plus plus 2OH minus. So Ksp expression, if I write down, that will be concentration of Cu2 plus concentration of OH minus square. Right. So if it is S, this one is 2S. So we can write 4SQ. So concentration of Cu2 plus is equals to S is equals to Ksp by 4 root over of it. And that would be Ten to the power minus nineteen divided by four root over of it. Okay, so this is Achha, one more thing is given, pH is given, right? So it means POH is what? POH is zero. Means OH minus constant. Okay, fine. We can do this way also. Right. Because we, why we cannot use this, I'll tell you. Because the solution pH is given. Means its OH minus concentration is already given. Means in the solution, we have H plus OH minus already present, right? Hence, we cannot talk about the solubility of this, right? This solubility we get when there is no common ion. But when common ion is present, the solubility is something different, right? So this is true when the solution is, does not have any common ion in, with respect to this salt, right? Hence, we cannot use this method over here because the solution has we do not have any idea about the solubility of this compound since solution thing is not mentioned ksp expression is this but we know the fact that when ph is 14 it means poh is zero this means OH minus concentration, if you find out, that is 1. And hence, 1 we substitute here. So concentration of Cu2 plus, we can find out, with, that is 10 to the power minus 19 with the given data. Okay. Now we can use Nernst equation and find out the answer. Right. Nernst equation for Cu2 plus to Cu, we can write E Cu2 plus to Cu is equals to E0 is 0.34 minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log of 1 by Cu 
2 plus. Okay, all the value you can substitute here. 0 0.34 minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log of 1 by Cu2 plus is 10 to the power 19. When you solve this, you'll get it as around point minus of 0 0.221. Right? This is the answer for this question. Okay, so the point here, we won't use the, because the, ultimately we have to find out the concentration of CO2 plus, but we won't use the solubility expression here. Why? Because the pH of the solution is mentioned, right? So there is H plus present into the solution and in presence of H plus OH minus, the solubility may differ, right? That's why we cannot use that KSP is equals to S4S square, S4S cube expression here, okay? Hence, we'll find out the OH minus concentration with respect to pH, which is this, and then KSP. Okay. Now, the next question you see. How many grams of silver could be plated out on a serving tray by electrolysis of a solution containing silver in plus one oxidation state for a period of eight hours? Okay. So obviously, when electrolysis is there, the question is based upon Faraday's law of electrolysis. Time is given 8 hours. So 8 into 60 into 60 seconds. Right? This is the time. I is given. I is also 8.46 ampere. What is the area of the tray if the thickness of the silver is plating is this centimeter, right? Area of the tray. So see, density is given. Density is given. With density is equals to mass by volume. Volume is equals to what? Area into the thickness. That's right? so area we need to find out. Thick thickness we know. Mass, we can find out the mass which deposit and density also, we know, right? So first of all, we'll find the idea of behind this question is what? We'll find out the mass deposited, that is M. So mass is what? Mass is equal to density into volume, density into volume, and volume further, we can write density into, volume further, we can write area into the thickness that is X, suppose we have, okay? This area we need to find out. So area is equals to what? Mass divided by density into the thickness X. Okay, so density is given, thickness is already given, right? We need to find out mass. Now for mass, what we can write, M is equals to EIT by 96500. Right? E is the equivalent mass and that would be 108 for silver. Plus one, so it will 108 only. I is 8.46 and T is 8 into 3600. This whole thing is divided by 96500. Okay? So you can calculate this and we'll find out mass that mass would be approximately 272.17 gram. 273 also you can take approximately this. Now this mass will substitute here 272.17 density is given 10.5 into the thickness is 0 0.0025 Right, so area is 1.02 into 10 to the power 4 and the unit is centimeter square. This is the answer for this question. Easy one. Okay, 
next question you see the electrolysis of a solution of mnso4 in aqueous sulfuric acid is a method of preparation of mno2 okay what is said that electrolysis of a solution of mnso4 in aqueous sulfuric acid is a method of preparation of mno2 as per the reaction given passing a current of 27 ampere okay so i is given 27 ampere t is 24 into 3600 seconds right mass of mno2 is 1 kg means mass is 1000 gram okay we need to find out the value of current efficiency okay now for all these things we know we have to apply faraday's law of electrolysis so m is equals to e i t by 96500 we'll find out current for this and what is the current required for this particular mass to get deposit 1000 into 96 Five double zero divided by E into T. T is twenty four into thirty six hundred. What is E? E is the equivalent mass. So that would be atomic mass of manganese, and the change is what? The change is of you can see here. the number of electron exchange is 2 okay to balance this we get 2h2 plus side plus 2 electron correct so if you write down this reaction i will tell you how do we get the number of electron exchange mn plus 2 converts into mn o2 so when you balance this in an acidic medium we will write 2h2 on this side then 4h plus this side when you balance the charge we have to add two electron this side okay so charge will be balanced both sides two electron is getting exchange this will be atomic mass of manganese divided by 2 equivalent mass so when you solve this the i value that you get here is 25.67 ampere okay so current efficiency is what current efficiency is the current that has been used divided by the current which is provided into ampere so when you solve this you'll get approximately 90% current efficiency got it next one you see calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction this everything is given right equilibrium constant means what delta g is zero so we can write delta g not is equals to 
टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री आर टी लॉग के सी दिस के सी वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट ओके वॉट इज दल्टा जी वी नो इट इज माइनस एन एफ ई नॉट ऑफ द सेल इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री आर टी लॉग के सी सो दिस वी कैन फर्दर राइट number of electron exchange is 1 so log of kc is equals to minus n divided by 2.303 rt by f so log of kc is equals to into e not cell so log of k c is equals to 1 1 divided by this value is 0.0591 into e not cell is c f e is getting oxidized c u c e 4 plus is getting reduced right so c e 4 plus to c e 3 plus f e 3 plus to f e 2 plus so th this is cathode and this is anode So e cathode minus e anode. So e not cell is one point four four e cathode minus e anode. The reduction potential of this point six eight. Okay, this is the e not cell. That will be six. Point seven six volt, which we substitute here. KC value is. Okay. Hmm. I have missed a sign here. Minus. So this minus minus gets cancelled. This is the answer we get. Okay. So answer for this question is seven point six into ten to the power twelve. The next question is find the solubility product of a saturated solution of this in water at 298 kelvin if the emf of the cell is this okay so this is ag to ag plus and this is this correct ag plus to ag so this is this side we have cathode and this side we have anode okay so for this reaction if i write down the e cell is equals to e not cell minus 0.0591 divided by 1 log of 
AG plus cathode cathode by AG plus anode. This is what the reaction we get. Now, AG plus cathode, the concentration is given 0.1, right? Since we need to find out the solubility product. So we have to find out the concentration of AG plus in the anodic side. So if I substitute all the value, E naught cell is zero. It is a concentration cell. So E naught cell is zero. 0 0.0591 by 1 log of 0 0.1 by the AG plus concentration on the anodic side. Now when you solve this, you'll get the concentration of AG plus at anode and that is that is 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar. Right? So when you look at the dissociation of the salt which is AG2CrO4 here, AG2CrO4, CrO4, it dissociates as 2 AG plus plus CrO4 2 minus. Okay, the concentration of this is 2S which is given here, we have already calculated and this is S. So with this relation you see the concentration of CrO4 2 minus if you calculate O4 2 minus that will be the half of this divided by 2 half of this now the solubility product Ksp is equals to we have 4 S cube right S value is S value is this so answer is into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 2. So this is 2.287 into 10 to the power minus 12 mole per litre. Okay, this is the answer. I can understand guys, there are some calculation into this, some log, anti-log value you must require to solve this kind of expression. But these are the questions you can see, these are questions of 1998. There we have this kind of calculation. We have made, we have JS training and brains exam that point of time. And we have subjective questions also. So we get enough time for this kind of questions there. Okay. So that's why they give uh, some weird kind of calculation also in the question. But nowadays, you don't have that much time, right? So you won't get calculation also like this. But the concept you must understand how to do this kind of questions. Okay. So fine, guys. Thank you. We are done for the session for today. Okay. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye-bye.